Now, impedance is the amount of resistance that the signal is running into. Impedance is the amount of resistance an electrical conductor, like a wire, has in opposition to the current flow. A good conductor is one with low impedance. That's why your studio microphones are all low impedance mics. Balanced three pins. 600 ohms or under is low impedance. Your headsets are 10,000 ohms. When you're coming from your mixer, going to your power amplifier before your speakers, you have a DC current, and it is line level going to the power amplifier. You plug it into the power amplifier. Now, coming out of the power amplifier is your amplified signal going to the speakers. You got speaker out in the back of the amplifier, right? You can't use the same wire you used coming from the mixer to the amplifier. You can't use the same kind of wire going from the speaker out to the speakers because you've just amplified that signal. You want thick wire, 14 gauge, 12 gauge wire. You can go, now, you know, Megami cable is good and it's expensive, but you can also go buy 12 gauge lamp cord, a whole 100 foot roll, it'll work the same way for you. It's stranded, it's wire, works, a lot cheaper. But get 12 or 14 gauge. And you also want to have the larger plugs for the larger cable so that you can solder this wire into the larger quarter inch plug. It actually has a bigger housing so it'll hold the bigger wire. Because once you amplify that signal, you try to put the regular DC wire in there that you ran your DC current around, it's like getting the fire hose and taping it to a garden hose. Because the power is coming out of that and it's trying to go into a garden hose. It's just going to destroy it. And the other thing it's going to do is it's going to overwork your amplifier because it keeps trying to push that. And it heats up the amp and you could blow your amplifier. Coming out of the amp, you want stronger cables, thicker thicker wire. Going from the mixer to the amp, regular 8452, which is that kind of wire I told you will work throughout your whole studio, except for after the amp. In this room, we have a crown power amp, signal going to the power amp, and then we've got thicker cable coming from the back of the power amp going up to the speakers. In this room, we have powered speakers, powered speakers, which means the power amplifier is built into the speaker. In that room, I come out of the mixer with my regular 8451, regular DC cable, and I go into the speaker, which I'm really going into the power amp in the back of the speaker. I go to the speaker with my DC current. If the speaker is powered, I don't need to go to the speaker with the thick cable. I only need the thick cable after the amplifier to get to the speaker. But if the speaker is a powered speaker, then I just go with my regular DC current to that and I can run it a long ways. We understand a little bit more about impedance. We don't. It is the amount of resistance that the signal will get in a wire. If, if, if I had that DC wire after the amp, meaning that thin wire after it's been amplified, the resistance would be very high. The impedance would be very high going into that. Whereas if I had the uh, thicker cable, the resistance would be a lot less. The impedance would be less. Just think of the fire hose into a garden hose. and You taped it all together and you got a good adapter and it's great. As a matter of fact, you didn't tape it. You had a built-in adapter, a special that screws into this hose and it steps it down to this garden hose and it's going to blow up the doggone garden hose. And, you're, you know, and it's going to back all this up. Just think of what's going to happen with all the water pressure backing up into the same thing as current. Low impedance mics are, are more desirable because they have balanced outputs. Stray radio signals will affect the hot and cold wires to the exact opposite way because one is positive and one is negative. At the mixer, when the two signals are combined, the opposites cancel each other out as they are 180 degrees out of phase. You've got a high impedance mic that's got just one of those quarter inch connectors on the end the mono connector, that's a high impedance mic. You can plug that into your amplifier so you can sing at rehearsals. Well, great. Well, that is a, a microphone that is not balanced. The length of the cable is going to be an antenna. And you're going to hear radio stations through your amp. Whereas if you had a balanced line where you had the positive and the negative, 
it cancels because your leakage would be on both the negative and the positive, which would make that radio leakage 180 degrees out of phase with itself, and it would cancel when you put the positive and negative together at the end of the line.